In this video, we are going to summarize the selection rules for electronic spectroscopy. At first, the case of one electron, followed by the case for many electrons. The first important rule that we have is vols delta s being equal to zero. So this is the change in the spin angular momentum of electron. It's not going to change during the absorption or emission of electromagnetic radiation because those particular types of radiation do not specifically interact with the spin. We'll see later on that there is an interaction between the spin angular momentum and the orbital angular momentum of a particular electron and that this interaction is called spin-orbit coupling. Spin-orbit coupling becomes very important once the atomic number becomes greater than 30. An important upshot of this is that as we get heavier and heavier elements, ones that are heavier than an atomic number 30, for example, that this rule becomes followed less and less. And we can actually have change in the overall spin of the electron. The second rule involves the orbital angular momentum delta L. So this can change by either zero or a value of plus or minus one. The reason for the plus or minus one is as follows. When we absorb a photon, the photon has a spin angular momentum of plus one. The spin angular momentum of an electron is plus or minus one half. In the process of electronic absorption, the photon is destroyed. So we end up losing one unit of spin angular momentum. To maintain the law of conservation of angular momentum and the law of conservation of energy, we therefore have to convert that one unit of spin angular momentum in the photon into one unit of orbital angular momentum of the electron. Plus or minus depends on whether we have absorption or emission. A second point is to consider, well, is it possible for one electron in a one electron system to absorb numerous photons. Can we absorb more than one photon in a single uh, electronic spectroscopy absorption event? In general, no. That's why it's plus or minus one and not plus or minus two, plus or minus three. Under most circumstances that do not involve lasers, the flux of photons, the uh, rate of photons passing into the system is so small that the likelihood of having the absorption of more than one photon is trivially small. So that's why we're limited to values of plus or minus one unless we're dealing with lasers. With lasers, we could actually have multi-photon absorption. The last of the important quantum numbers that we want to look at is one called J. And J is the spin orbit coupling. It's the interaction between the spin angular momentum and the orbital angular momentum. And we have selection rules for J just as well. The change in J, this rule looks very similar to the rule for L, the plus or minus one, but there's one extra condition in that if we have a situation where J is equal to zero, it cannot end in a state where J is equal to zero. So we can't go from J equals zero to J equals zero. Now for the selection rules for polyelectronic systems. We're going to write these in a pink here, so it's going to be delta. And here, when we have more than one electron, the quantum number is going to be written as a capital Roman letter. So here we again, for the same reasons we had for the single electron case, delta big S is going to be equal to zero. Again, this will be true in the cases where spin orbit coupling is very weak. Therefore, those cases where the atomic number is much less than 30. As far as the orbital angular momentum, capital L, the change in L, is going to be equal to zero plus or minus one. For reasons that we had already looked at before. Again, in the case of multi-electron systems, we have a new quantum number J, which is the spin orbit coupling, which is the interaction between the total spin momentum and the total orbital angular momentum. And we have appropriate selection rule for the change in J. It's going to be equal to zero plus or minus one. And again, we have the rule that capital J equals zero, K 
cannot go to capital J equals zero. So zero to zero is not possible for J. I thank you for your attention. Have a good one.